Okay, Brian, this is V1 Basics. I've got a swing of my student, Andy, on here. And if you notice, there's a slide bar at the bottom and the V1 icon at the top. And up here, you'll notice there's some other things with regards to how you can mark up the screen. So I'm going to slide Andy's swing along to a point that I want it. I'm checking this backswing. Now, I've got this in portrait, and I'll explain that in a while. You'd want to keep this in landscape. Uh, it's a little bit more, oh, sorry, yeah, yeah, this is in landscape. I want it in portrait most, most of the time. Anyway, so I'm going to touch the screen. It's going to come up with the colors of the analyzing lines. So I'm going to put red. I'm going to check his, his club face. As you notice, I can just put those lines on by touching the screen. You can just touch the screen and write on it all you want. All right? That creates a circle. But you double tap it, takes it. You can shake the screen, it even works, okay? So what I want to do is I want to, I want to see how that relates to another pro. Now, if I wanted to just show Andy how his progress was, I can hit, simply hit the V1 button, up selects this menu, and you notice it says compare to, overlay, flip, send video, send a snapshot, and done. I want to send a snapshot. So I'm going to hit that again. Send snapshot. What this is going to do, it's going to come up with print, email, or post to Facebook. We want to email the attachment. So up pops this screen. It's your email database. You hit your button in the to button. Up pops the typewriter. Now I've got Andy's email address in here, so I'm going to type in B-O-S. And the top one is Boston Manor at Kojiko.net. This is his email address. I would just hit walk over here to the send button, which is right here, right beside the plus, right above the plus sign, and hit send automatically goes. That's it. That's how simple you can send something to somebody and have them understand what they're doing. Now, if you wanted to quickly do a little comparison, you hit the compare, same button, V1 button, and you want to compare them to a pro. So I'm going to go into the models. I'm doing this pretty quickly. I'm going to check them with Charles Howell III. So I'm going to compare Charles Howell III. I've already got some lines on Charles Howell III. And what we're going to do is we're going to see where they compare. So we're going to move, we're going to tap the screen. Notice it highlights when I tap each screen. Well, if you tap the screen, it allows you to just use that screen and move them individually. So there we want to move Charles down to right there. So I want to move it back. There we go. And Andy, same thing. I want to move him back up to right about here. So you can use your finger to do this. Or if you go back, use the buttons on the bottom over here, right here, to move back and forth one frame or not, one frame or the other. Okay? So you can go back a couple frames. Oh, I'm still working with Charles there. There we go. Okay, so now you can see that, and if you want to show them that comparison, again, hit the V1 button, send a snapshot, up pops the selection screen, hit email, and again, you get to email it to them right away. So again, if you want to get out of this, you hit done, right? It'll show Charles, but if you want to get back to his, uh, you want to get back to Andy's swing, because he's your student, you go back out into new, where he is, scroll down to his video, right? And he's right about here with me. I had him on video the other day, uh, just trying to find him. So anyways, you scroll up and down your videos until you find him, and then you're all set. There he is right there. So again, quick way to get your V1 working for you. Let me know if you need any help. Any more questions? Okay, bud. Ciao.